Hi, thank you for joining us for News 19 at 5. I'm Christine Kellemeyer. And I'm Jerry Hayes. Katanji Brown Jackson, the first black woman to be nominated to the U.S. Supreme Court, is expected to face a confirmation vote by the U.S. Senate in just more than a month. The first a long road of meeting with lawmakers on the Hill. Former Alabama U.S. Senator Doug Jones is helping Jackson navigate the process. He spoke to News 19 investigative reporter Dallas Parker about his role. She joins us now in the studio with more Dallas. That's right. Former Senator Doug jo U.S. Senator Doug Jones is back in D.C. this weekend. He's been tapped to help introduce SCOTUS nominee Kentaji Brown Jackson to some of his old colleagues on Capitol Hill. That work, he says, starts tomorrow. In an exclusive interview with News 19, Jones tells me Jackson is more than qualified and he's confident many U.S. senators, regardless of party affiliation, will recognize that after meeting her. President Joe Biden picked former U.S. Senator Doug Jones to serve as a guide to U.S. Supreme Court nominee Kentaji Brown Jackson during the Senate confirmation process, a duty Jones says he's honored to fulfill. I got a call from uh, the White House folks and talked to people about helping out, coming on board to try to help be the guy, to go, you know, to help prepare for confirmation hearings, to go to the, to the Hill to meet with the senators. So many of them I served with and I worked well with senators on both sides of the aisle. Jackson, who is a product of public schools in Miami-Dade County, is now being considered for the highest court in the land. And Jones says while he's introducing Jackson, her resume speaks for itself. She went to Harvard and a Harvard Law School. She served as a public defender. She served on the sentencing commission. She has been in private practice. She has been um, a district court judge, a, an appellate court judge uh, for the last 10 years. So her, her broad experience, both personally and professionally, is just amazing. And it, it's that, I think, that the president was really looking for. He had a lot of folks that he looked at, but her credentials, uh, I think, are the things that are most impressive about her and the way she approaches judging. She has a principled approach that adheres to the Constitution uh, as well as case precedent. And I think that that's gonna be important for a lot of senators to understand. Jackson is the first black woman to ever be nominated to the U.S. Supreme Court, and it's by a president who's a Democrat. The Supreme Court confirmation process in recent years has been marked by strong partisan disagreement. I think folks on the uh, Republican side of the aisle are being cautious. They're uh, withholding their judgment until they get a chance to review her record a, a little bit more. As I said, I, we're, we're not going to take any vote for granted for her or against her. Jones says Jackson is confident in her abilities, and she's scheduled to begin meeting with senators Wednesday. We're going to be uh, working with her on the confirmation hearing, going over her record with her, making sure that she remembers her uh, everything that she's written uh, and said and done. It's going to be a labor-intensive process for the next five or six weeks, but I think it's one that ultimately will be successful. This this woman is an amazing uh, jurist, uh, an amazing lawyer, an amazing uh, person. And I think this uh, Congress, the Senate is going to see that. And I'm hopeful that the American public will see that and keep an open mind about this, no matter which side of the political aisle they're on. Now, Jones tells me he doesn't anticipate any delays in the confirmation vote. He says Jackson has received an overwhelmingly positive response Republicans from Republicans, Democrats, independents, and legal studies.